understanding Yoruba properly to be able to translate it to English the way I do. So yes, uh, basically, I think that's that's like the main thing that most and also my background has been in media from the beginning. My my um BSc was in mass communication, my MSc in marketing. Interestingly, I specialized in internet and digital marketing, not knowing that a day will wow. come like a day where I'm going to become a brand influencer. So hmm. yes, so it's just you know, all of that sums up who I am behind the, the cameras. Wow, that, that that's that's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. You, know, you know, you know, you know, I like when I see people take education seriously. Mm -hmm. uh, so regardless of all you do, you had a very solid background. Yeah. The mass com, the marketing, the marketing, now yeah. additional based in that is why I think that's why your style is uh, a bit uh, it looks sustainable because there's something about you that we can't really explain. The way you speak and the way you are consistently driving your audience every time. So I think mm -hmm. it's a good one. So uh, another so thing I want to ask you: Will you say that your education has really helped you to, to get to where you are now? Realistically, I would say yes, because the different elements of communication, as we're taught in school, the different aspects of communication, intrapersonal communication, which is majorly what we do on, on Instagram. Because at the time that you're speaking to your phone, nobody's there. You're only hoping to get the feedback where you drop the comments out there. So um, I would say that my BSc has a lot, and for more than a lot, so let me just say almost everything to do with where I am today is really helped. And for my internet and digital uh, uh, master's degree, it was at the time that I'd learned um, about algorithm. It was a time that I'd learned about search words, about hashtags. So they were being called hashtags at the time, well, at least while I was in school, according to these lab books that were available, that were available at the time. They were called search words, which do exist on YouTube, on Google. So, I mean, it obviously contributed to how I think and how I reason. So it just kind of helped me um bring to life the many things that i've always learned in school and the great thing about studying abroad which i always tell people that we don't see studying abroad as a show of money or as a show of luxury it is actually an opportunity if you are in that space to learn practically because it's quite unfair and unfortunate but the educational system in nigeria is quite abstract they are teaching 500 students how to use laptop and how to use computer and as of 2020 2021 they are still using desktop in the class to teach people how to use a computer and these are 500 students only 10 computers a day that's very very abstract so because it was very i mean i had courses in school when, when i was doing um, consumer behavior as a course we had courses where we we're talking about you know um consumer thoughts buying process wheel of purchase and things like that so if i want to influence a brand i'm thinking I'm, I'm first of all putting myself in the shoe of the consumer what will i say what would somebody say that will make me buy this product how will they show me that will convince me to buy this product? And how will they tell me that will be interested in listening to what they have to say? So we know today that the, the comedy content are one of like is one of the biggest, most consumed content in the whole world, as a matter of fact. Right now, yeah. Yes. So I just thought, you know what? How about we give it an hilarious delivery while <laughs> you know punching the main point that I initially talked about? And guess what? When I started my own um content creation that's my own shows now you know i was on tv i was
infuse that into almost everything the influencing the content creation and all of these things too boils down to knowing what you are doing you need to know what you are doing to be able to diversify or funkify as a new new age language yeah. funkify so i think yes my degree is really really helps and i'm super thankful to god because to be honest with you well obviously when i was in uni 10, 15 12 years ago i never the word influencer didn't exist it didn't exist when i was doing my masters the word influencer didn't, like being as it is now did not exist so i never would have thought that so i'm just really grateful and privileged that i, I took those courses and they became my reality so what i do is me and that makes it very good so yeah and yeah. i like to encourage every parent out there either young or old because my parents played a very very big role in where i've become today because will you believe that during my course in because i went to london school of business and finance for my marketing and while i was in that school i said to my parents well, i want to go to one of the biggest fashion schools in the world, a London College of Fashion. And my mom was in London at the time, so went to the school to make inquiries. As they were calling the school fees, my mother was using corner high to look at me, say, hello. Look at me, call the law. Oh, they call you a lot of me precious. I mean, I mean, what me like? I mean, 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 I a lot of millions and my parents didn't mind and they just asked me is this what you want and i said yes so it wasn't like oh there's a they're just even if they're just blocking the money they're the owner of the money they still supported mm -hmm. me at the time and while i was so they didn't think about about one in london the school of business all my law for what and i'm super grateful to god because that knowledge and skill that i acquired has given me the opportunity to work with the biggest artists we have in nigeria the biggest celebrities the biggest brands biggest platforms that i've been able to work on and work with so parents really really need to encourage and support their children especially in areas where they are showing god-given talents because when talent meets training perfection cannot be far-fetched so yeah that's wow, wow. that's that's amazing. I hope a lot of parents can learn from this. Hopefully. We need to put our very best and monitor our children and see how we can guide them through it. Yeah. So so quick one. You know, you know, you know, I don't think uh the education played a major role, but you see, things were changing so fast because a lot mm. of technology were coming up and things were, in fact the rate of development and innovation was too fast for any yeah. education to catch up with. So how are you able to match that? Okay, so for me, I think one of the very, 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 very most, 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 most important thing about um, being a brand is your ability to evolve. It's very important. And I'll take it back to my master's, to my course as um, my master's degree, which is marketing. So while I was taking a particular course, personal behavior, we're asking how come, let, let's mention brands now. How come we have uh, Dr. Pepe, 7up, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, and we see how some of these brands could not catch up with the other it's basic so every year we all know that coca-cola is going to drop a campaign for christmas every year every year coca-cola is advertising as though they are a new brand just entering the market so the more you do the more you seek out resources to to renew the brand positioning the brand perception so you just have to you know be aware of your environment it's just like creating content if a slang is trending right now, you see most content creators are jumping on it, giving their own version of that interpretation of what it is. And when you look at it, when something is naturally trending and you create content around it, it gets more engagement. Although there are times when you are able to jump on some certain um, trends because it does not align with your brand values. Like and your goals. Yeah. yeah, exactly. However, you need to be aware and stay on top of your industry what's new who is new what is trending and then also research go like i feel like a lot of people on the use google and youtube read learn learn about other content creators in other countries read about fashion in other countries read about 
clothing, about cake making, decoration, whatever space you are in, read about it from other countries. And when you do that, it just helps you stay. You can't just be comfortable in your space and just stay there. So I think that's what has really helped me. So I evolved from being that girl that sits on the chair and, and speaking good English and just being prim and proper to that girl who's been able to attract a wider audience by breaking down the English to the more familiar type of English. Because people can relate. All these yeah. pronunciations that I come forward with, people can relate with it. We all have yeah. domestic staff. We all have people that say all, these, all sorts of, of, of words around us. And, you know, we actually, the likes of Cracks TV, Paul's NG, they, they, they publish videos that we all find funny. So people can relate to comedy and things that are, you know, in their immediate environment. So for me personally, that's how I've been able to do it. Pretty much okay. being aware and evolving. I, I think, uh, thanks so much, you, you sell it all. In fact, I'm in a lecture right now, and I think a lot of people ah. So, quick, uh, quick one. I think uh, your ability to be able to meet with trend is the fact that you set up time to study. Mm -hmm. Now, using the available platform, you use LinkedIn, you know me, I'm, I'm, LinkedIn is my friend. Yes. LinkedIn, for me, time. LinkedIn. Maybe for you, YouTube first. My own first LinkedIn, there's a LinkedIn learning platform that you can learn mm -hmm. a lot of things on LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. And it will amaze you the kind of product that LinkedIn has right now. Right. It's so much. You can right. do a whole lot with it. There's LinkedIn new, the LinkedIn learning for sales navigation. You can sell a lot of things. And the same thing with Instagram, the same thing with YouTube. There's too much content for you to learn. Mm -hmm. So you can decide to learn one thing from three different people. Of course. So you will pick the best one, three of them. So if if you are very fast, you might even learn much more than them because you are True. learning, you are learning mm -hmm. from multiple sources. Why mm -hmm. they probably will have learned from school all of that. So you have opportunity to learn from multiple. So LinkedIn is there, YouTube is there, mm -hmm. then uh, it's even it's Instagram. There's a lot of Instagram is there. Even Google that you can is follow there. and learn and again. That is general knowledge. There's another thing is that understanding the platform itself. Yeah. To know how to use the hashtag, to know how to pose, you know the timing, to know all mm -hmm. of that. Mm -hmm. It means that there's a whole lot of things that you do to catch up. Of course, of course, that, because you know a, a lot of people actually don't don't know that most content creators just don't post content when they feel like posting. Most content creators have their peak periods. There's some hashtag that has been blacklisted and banned that some people don't know. So when you put that hashtag on your post, it's going to um, shadow ban that post. So these are different things that you need to learn. You need to learn about your space, the industry you are playing on, the field you are playing on. You need to know the do's and don'ts. This will help you to project or attract or, you know, just, you know, gain more followership or audience, pretty much. Wow, wow. You know, you know, you know the thing that I've seen, I, I see a very great mind. Hmm. Madam, you've not started, you know. Right. You know, you spent, I you know. know you spent a lot of money taking you through school. Yeah. <laughs> a lot, though. Yeah. Uh, a lot. Yeah, so, a lot so, of so, you know that the, the journey is still far. Yes, you know, it we don't is. want to stop the war. You know, you know how we do now. We I know, I know, I know. So, so, so it, it's a good thing. I, I really wish a lot of people are learning from you and all of that. But I also want to ask you, how do you get to monetize or how do you make money in all of this? Right. So, um, YouTube has its own standard. You have a certain number of um, subscribers, a certain number of um, um, watch time. Once you eat that number, you apply for the AdSense. Once your AdSense is approved. They begin to put ads on your video and kaboom, you begin to cash out. Wow. 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 Instagram, you gather enough numbers, you build yourself as a brand influencer, and then brands come to you. They pay you to post videos, pictures, make reels, post stories, and that's it. Hmm. But like I always say to people, the most important thing is for you to create a content that is sellable. Once you create a content that is sellable, the content from the word sellable, the content will sell itself. Wow. The moment the content begins to sell itself, then the platform begins to earn money by itself. So there are wow. times when, and then you also don't want to take advantage of your audience. Because you're a brand influencer, doesn't mean you should not post four or five adverts in a day. I just, so I tell people it's basic. You're watching YouTube and an advert pops. How many times do you actually watch the advert to the end? You skip adverts. That's what we do most times. So now bring it to Instagram. 
people follow you because of a certain content that you that you post or you push and they like now they come back to you and it's just add 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 before you know what's happening they stop engaging your posts and because of the way the um, instagram algorithm is at the moment once someone stops engaging maybe they don't get um posting back, back to back instagram will just do they'll just do them the honors of of not bringing your content to them anymore and that's why you see people with millions of followers thousands of followers and the engagement is not there and you're asking how can this person have fifty thousand followers and they don't have one thousand likes that is because there's 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 there isn't a smooth um classic relationship between the consumers and the content creator itself so yes pretty much so now this can affect how you are monetizing so you need to be very mindful of of the things you put out there and i i say this all of the time as a brand influencer your biggest check is your truth that's the biggest check you have some people are great influencers you know they have the numbers but 10 Eight out of ten things they say is I oh my god guys, I use this, I, I use this water, they did not use the water. Oh my god, guys, I drank this, they did not drink it. So the, the moment people begin to sense that you did not do what you say that you did, that was not what you said. I know the internet is a very big space. You that you are saying multiple things, you will not recall all the things that you are saying. But the people that are listening to you will recall. It's just like one of the basic rules of mass communication. Two types of people are in the audience. People who do not or know anything about what you're talking about and people who know what you're talking about. So you don't want to look like a fool to those who know what you're talking about. So pretty much. So if you are able to put all these things in check, you monetize. And when you start yeah. to monetize big, wow. There's, there's a lot of there's like a lot of money to be made on the internet mm. and sometimes i wonder why some people choose it to troll people and to do mm. unnecessary things I mean, you can actually use this platform to make a lot of money either as a content creator or establishing a business and finding your customers there it's 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 a very big space for to get a lot of money yes yes i i realized that a lot of people can actually make a lot of money from platform in fact it's a serious business i mean mm. I, I know someone that can tag up to 30 million dollars per post and yeah. the person might not post in the, the last three years mm -hmm. just have to post once mm -hmm. and she has made all the money all the investment she will have made and all mm -hmm. that and i also have someone who take like hundred thousand per day and does like hundred posts in a day mm -hmm. like that by 30 days you begin mm -hmm. to realize that this is serious business serious then, business then i noticed that your strategies look closer to beyonce strategy you don't just take any kind of advert am i right yes I, because you just like big big money or all it does that uh, and why are you looking at the ceiling no that's not it that's not it so now the thing like i said before as an influencer your biggest check is your truth that's your biggest check now it's easy to work with multinational brands because over the years they've pro they've, they've provided value quality value that a lot of people can assert into so take for example i work with mtn and i say okay you can do auto top up and um, load xx x wide amount of credits everybody knows that they cannot load credits on mtn and mtn will scam them and carry their money everybody already knows that i can't come to you and say oh pick milk is this is that so nobody's af afraid that if i drink pick milk will you not poison me pick milk has nav dark registration but so it's always easier to work with brands like that. So when it comes to consumable products, I don't even work with brands that are not major brands for consumable products because I don't want to. I, I don't want to go through that issue of you don't have now. I've had to. I've had to done. I've had to do, um, do refunds a few times after I've received products and I realized that there's no napdac on it. I'm like, I'm sorry, I can't do this. Do you understand me? So it is very, very important that you don't mess with your truth because as, a, as, as an influencer the moment you mess with your truth that's where the problem is and another reason why i use same products before i sell them is even if you want to come and tell me i think i use this dandruff and it didn't work i'll tell you i'm sorry it didn't work for you and i'll be able to genuinely tell you it worked for me and that is my truth so you might be you might believe you might not believe but deep down in my own heart of us that's my truth and that is it so it's not like i don't use i don't used to i, I never will be all like me for me don't get now you cannot give me break every look now so i don't want 
the whole thing. Because we'll buy us in Lagos in a choice. I know now. You know now. Oh, like you are investing very well. <laughs> <laughs> you are investing very well. Yes, yes, yes. I'm trying. I'm trying my very best. I'm trying my very best. Okay. That, so. that, 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 that's great. See, I want to talk about. Uh, there's a, there's, I'm going to bring a, a guest uh, next next week. Uh, he's a pioneer okay. in the US, and there's one thing he said that is very amazing. He said, "When you you have your hundred percent truth, hmm. he, he can call someone and tell him that just give me two million dollars, I'm going to give it back tomorrow, and the person will give you the money." Yeah, true, true, true. If you say everything is good, then it is good. That hmm. was David Mensah. That what he said. He said, "If you if he gets to a point where he's People see the honesty to be unrepresented. They can actually ask for anything. Yeah. Yeah. And people will believe and release their money because mm -hmm. that integrity. Yeah. Okay, that is key for you. Another thing I like about you is that you create a, like some kind of quality control for everything. It's not you don't just take everything. Yeah. You check the regulate regulatory authority. Is it, is it right? You check mm -hmm. the track record. Is it yes. evidence? Then you also test it yourself to confirm that. Yes. Those, 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 those are, and I think that's one of the things that you are getting great brand, okay? Mm -hmm. and, and I think you need to keep that up. I think a lot of people are learning. It's not about just taking, see, there are some people that have taken small, small money today that cannot give them mm -hmm. big money tomorrow. Yes. They've, they've used a small, small advert that does not have a lot of integrity or quality mm -hmm. control to mm -hmm. spoil that big brand that will have been waiting for them. Mm, so I, yes. I, I think it's a good one that everybody has to learn from it. It's not about making money. It's about mm -hmm. the truths that you of are bringing course. out. You should be able to say it because you have used it. Yes. You should be able to say it because it's history. The mm -hmm. other thing that you are doing that is amazing that you are also leveraging your people's brand. You know that. So, so you're also leveraging your people's brand. So you want a brand that already have a track record. Mm -hmm. so com combining with you, that just blows everything up. That's, so that's, it, it that's just amazing. to say... You, you just need to work yourself. So now these brands didn't come to me because, oh, let's, no, let's go to work. They also saw that, okay, this girl has a certain level, a certain standard that aligns with, these are multinational brands. They yeah. will just pick an influence out of the blues. They check, okay, with this person, what's that, what's that choice of words? Does she cuss out? Does she, so like, like you, you, can, you can't catch me make a video and say, oh, I use the F word. I won't do that not on my instagram because i have multinational brands on my instagram like cadbury is a family brand peak is a family brand or jumia is a family brand so they, they are also very very conscious and I, that's that's why i say if influencers actually sell down and you know pay attention to the things they do and say and another thing that also helps is profitable collaborations yeah. so when i started out you know making skits it actually started from one person inviting me over and say well, let's feature and do this skit together and we did and it was good and that person goes okay now can i have let's do what let's do another one let's do another one let's do another one so it's just do you know do you know i always thought that i think it's quite easy to make it in life to be honest honestly to be honest, to i be agree honest, i agree you just have to be dealing see everybody likes and wants what is good hmm. be diligent once you are diligent, the Bible has already told us that it's not the fastest that wins the race. It's not the most educated that, that is most successful. But being at the right place at the right time. But I feel like many people have been at the right place at the right time, but they were not diligent and they didn't deliver yeah. value. So if you don't deliver value, and how do you, how do you even get more brands? You have to delete, you do you influence for a brand, you do it right. Mm. Another brand goes, oh, that was good. Though. Let's use that. Let's use that. Let's use that. Mm. But a lot of people actually, they actually find themselves at that point where they can actually do good. And, you know, God has given them the grace to, to be at the right place at the right time. But I've, 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 I've given people opportunities and they didn't deliver. Wow. And it, it, it could have been a beginning of, of a great a, thing. Of a great thing. But they didn't deliver. Yeah. So am I going to, people don't make mix sentiments with business that has a lot of money inside. That's what people mm. need to know. So nobody's going to say, oh, because I, let's do that because we like her. If they use you once because they like you and you don't deliver, they won't come back. Yes. In fact, I, I always tell my manager sometimes that it is better for us to have a bad experience with a brand than for the brand to have a bad experience with us. Wow. Yes. So let me be the one saying, oh, well, that brand, what, what's, what's test you are going, yeah, really go. Let me be the one to say that. Not, Not them, them saying, 
Kiki we really don't go close because I know that this it's it's a space, it's an industry. A brand manager is their friends, agencies are friends, they're asking themselves, how was it? It's a small cycle, it's actually a small cycle. It's a very, a very small, very small, very small. So once you mess it up, it's called word of mouth, and like your bar will say, Well, where mouth reach, leg you reach there. <laughs> so you, you want to be very mindful and careful what you say how you say it and make sure you just deliver the job and go home and let another job come and be happy with it and that's it there's another thing i want to talk about you know i think your your background also when you talk about the f1 and all of that when you speak uh i think there's a lot of factors because i have someone that is doing very well topping the world but you like using the F word. You might know the person. Don't say it. <laughs> you, <laughs> the F word every, <laughs> you like using the F word every time, but the guy is stopping the wall and driving the traffic anyhow. But that uh, is your style. Work for him. But I think yes. it's about. I think it's about style. Then it's also about your background, about your ideology, because mm -hmm. the way you were brought up, or the the side, your perception about life, what you think is right and what you think is wrong because mm -hmm. so so sometimes it depends on your own style which has worked but i think the part of this world uh nigeria africa the uh the the one the, how would i say the one discipline they want mm -hmm. they want good world they want it to look mm -hmm. uh uh they, they, you have to be careful the kind of the way you use word but in, from the global perspective uh it, it's just funny that some people use the f word and they are doing amazing things and all of that Mm -hmm. they have their own audience and funny enough the audience is very huge you know mm -hmm. so I, I think it's all about discipline about your background about what you yeah. believe and it's yeah. working for you so kiki uh some people are honestly always looking up to you mm -hmm. and they want to be like you mm -hmm. the fact is that you have you you do present you know presenting is a different job on its own yes presenting is a different job on the tv presenter is a different job MC mm -hmm. presenter is a different job. Mm -hmm. Now comedy, you know, the, the content creator, all of it. So it's like multi skills or what would I call it? Mm -hmm. So I, want, I I don't know how someone can if upcoming guys that want to be amazing like you and what do you think they can do to 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 get to this level? So first, I'll say give it time. Don't rush. Give it time. Time as a way of perfecting everything because with time comes experience you just have to learn you have to you can't rush it i i spent a very long time of my not long time well like then no from 20 i spent 2014 to 2018 only presenting wow that's like four years presenting i didn't add content creation and then hosting event hosting those yeah. came hand in hand and Along the line, I began to evolve. As I speak to you right now, I think I've worked on about eight movie pro uh, movie projects as I speak to you right wow. now. Yes. So I began to ev evolve. And, you know, with when, when you evolve, there's a new level of confidence being unlocked. So a new level of confidence has been unlocked. I'm more comfortable with myself. I'm finding myself. I'm, I'm accepting who I am because that's another thing. Some people are a certain way, but they are looking at another group of people and they want to be like that. So you want to be like the Koyi girl when you live in 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 Abu Khan. You have to be realistic with yourself. You cannot be you. That doesn't stop you from aspiring to be that person or be better than that person. But you must be realistic. Because you know, like my 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 screen, my one of my screen uh, references. I'm going to use his movie name now, Raymond Redding team in okay. um uh what's that blacklist? It says the perception of reality is more realistic than reality itself when well presented. Wow. So it means what you think is reality might not even matter if you present a better perception of it. Yes, it depends on how you tell your story. Oh, you tell your story, and that's why brands don't mess with perception. Perception is very mm. important. I was telling someone one day, I said, I agree, I have humor. I agree, I can be funny, but I'm at a place right now that anything I say now is funny because everybody now knows that Kiki is funny. So even when I don't mean 
to be funny. When I say something, people are laughing because there's a perception in their heads that this girl is funny. And that's why brand imagery is very, very important and essential. So, and that's why you need to give it time. Because if you're in the S and you formulate an idea of, of who you are not, you might not be able to get rid of it. Once people have that perception in their head that, okay, this is how this person is. So just give it time and allow yourself to evolve. Me, for one, I like to tell myself that I have multiple talents. I don't rush it. Project by project. I focus. You also need to focus because if you don't focus, you just find yourself doing jack of all trade, master of none. Yeah. So it's interesting for people to say, oh my God, you host events, you present TV shows, you do content, you do fashion. How do you do everything so well? Because as I, in as much as I'm doing multiple things at, at, at the same time, or I have the ability to do multiple things, I don't, I don't do them at the exact second or minute. I dedicate time to them. This month, I'm focusing on this. Next month, I'm focusing. So time management is also very, mm. very important. So my advice so to every young... So basically, uh, you improve in one first. Yes. And get to a peak before you. So yes. it's not like you're doing everything at the same time. I don't believe you can master the trade like that. Maybe somebody else wow. did and they mastered it. But perhaps for me, from my own experience, and I have been able to build my brand... <laughs> It didn't work for me. Well, are you are you open for mentorship or young? If you have a young people that want to learn from you, are you open for that? Yeah, I have I have a few of them around me already. Wow, that's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. So and I, I like to keep the number very short because okay. I have uh, like I said I, I do a few things, so I also don't want to add that and make that a job. That's supposed to be like um, a consultation yeah. thing. Yes, yes. So yeah, I have a few of them around me already. And okay, yeah, we are okay. kicking it. That, yeah. that, that is fantastic. So so now, how are you taking your content around the world? Tell us about that. You see, that one, the first step to that one is YouTube. Wow. That's the first step to that, which, I've start, which I'm giving time. So this year, 2021, YouTube is major for me this year. And surprisingly, I've, I've had it almost 30,000, over 30,000 subscribers this year. That's and if you, Yes. And if you know the way YouTube is, hey, it's difficult to grow subscribers yeah. on YouTube. Very, very yeah. difficult. So I've been able to do that. And number two is I'm now, uh, I'm not paying more attention to acting. Hence why I'm doing more of skits. And like I said before, I've worked on a project. I'm going on another movie set in like five days, wow. which is another. So that makes it my second cinema film in the space of wow. one year. Yeah. Wow. And these are things I'm grateful for, by the way. So these are the steps that we're taking. From there now, we begin to enter Netflix. I know YouTube and Netflix are like wow. the two doors that takes you on the international scene. Wow. And um, other things can follow from there. But for now, that's the plan. Are you, are you the one producing the film or are you just acting or, or your partner? I'm just acting. It's, 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 a, it's a film by one of the top directors in Nigeria. I'm just, wow. I just just wow. have like a major role in the film. You are actually making us proud over here, man. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that, just just, just keep, keep, keep it up. Keep it up. And don't I'll go try. down. Let's keep seeing you there up and up every time. I'll try. I'll try. So, so uh, quick one. Uh, if you can answer like two, three questions from the question uh, boss, just check. Some people, but a lot of people are saying good thing about you. Some people wow. say, what the, uh, they say, what's your full name? Some people ask for your full name now. I thought you My said full name is Oluwabukumi Oyebisi Adiaga Ilori. So you guys can hear that now. You guys can hear that now. So let you can also check out. They say much respect. They love what you do. Thank you. Are you. Courage. Oh God, people say you are influencing them. So someone say, what's your strategy for you uh, for your brand influence influencing? What's your strategy? But I think you said a lot of that already. Yeah, I did. You said a lot. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's great to be here to have you here. Thank I will you so look much forward for to do me. more to see you. Just keep driving it and keep making African proud. I'll do and that. keep making all the money. And don't forget, I'll send my back account so that you can be sending the SS. Ah, money. let's talk hello. Hello. <laughs> hello. Uh, let's go and let's all check you. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. We appreciate thank you. you and for you have a wonderful me. evening. And you too. Bye. Yeah, bye. Wow, wow, that's amazing. That is amazing. It's amazing to have Kiki here with us. She's just an amazing lady making us proud in Africa. 
with so much education, so much energy, hard working. She had a very good background, but still at that money. And that is how we should think. Everybody should be responsible for what they do. Everybody should be responsible for their success, put effort. See, she worked hard, she, she worked to study, she worked, regardless of the background, she said, go to YouTube to learn more things, go to Instagram, go everywhere. You know, learn new things, catch up with what is happening and see how we can monetize this. Don't just keep complaining every time. This is what we are for. We bring the best and see how she's very truthful. Say a story, she said, use the right hashtag, monitor your hashtag, monitor the topic within your within your platform and try to utilize it and be truth. They don't need to promote things. So, so many times when people lie on the platform, people know you don't need to be real, be true. Because over time, people begin to have a perception of who you are and that will bring your value down. At the time you have opportunity to get good brand, to get it on their, on the, on their platform, they will be thinking about those things to keep yourself real. Let people respect you for who you are and keep driving it I Don't give up. There's a lot, the lot, the lot that we have learned from Kiki today. We appreciate that. So guys, we have to go now. If you have more questions, just, I will see how I can respond. Okay, if you have any question, drop it. I will try my best to respond to every question as, as much as possible. So, we're going to bring David Mensa in the app, all from the world from US. See, this guy, I'm bringing him. You guys prepare your question. Be ready how there. We're going to crack it down. We're going to be learning from the very best. We try to know that I'm making, up, that I'm making the world proud and influencing the art and creating an impact. This guy wants to make the entire world. I don't know how he's doing that. He said, but we can do it if all of us agree. So he want to make the entire world happy. Make me happy already. So we have to try to come together and come and learn from you. How do we make ourselves happy? more money when we're happy then how do we influence the world to be happy it's just a little come out and watch out for the mensa next week thursday 7 p.m in the house it's gonna don't miss it thank you guys i'm always happy to be here and thank you that you always talk join us have a wonderful day bye for now